We've all been there, right? One week, you're clicking heads and clapping cheeks and hitting shots that make you feel like you're cheating. No way. And then, for no reason specifically, you lose that magic and start playing worse and worse I'm dead. and worse. Maybe you lose a star or your KDA starts to tank. Well, my strategy for when this starts to happen is to either take a short break or, in the case of this video, just embrace how bad you're doing and have fun with it. So, we're going to talk about that, but first, for you people that are leaning toward taking a break, maybe you can try another game for a little bit, and maybe that game is the sponsor of this video, and maybe that game is none other than Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a tactical turn-based game that you can download for free on Android or iOS. The heart of the game is recruiting legends to craft the perfect team synergy to battle against all the bosses and modes that Raid has to offer, as well as fighting other players in the PvP arena. In honor of their fourth anniversary, they wanted me to pick four legends that I would invite to a dinner party, and I recently returned from a wedding, so I had some thoughts fresh on my mind. What party is complete without a very good boy that I could pet in the corner like Tatura Rhymehide? Also, I can't imagine a better legend to fit in with my sisters than the Medusa-inspired Mithrala Lifebane. And for some reason, I always get asked to cut the turkey at these things, so I think Jintoro has me covered there. And finally, when my mom starts to ask me personal questions, my man Angar can swat her away. Raid is hosting a special egg hunting event until May 15th where you can be entered to win in-game and real-world prizes by finding the egg in the dragon's lair. Check out the description for details or go to egghunt.plarium.com for a special promo code. I had never played Raid Shadow Legends before this video, but honestly, I was pretty surprised at the fidelity of the game and I had a lot of fun checking it out. So, you can check it out too by using the link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses like this epic champion Knight Errant from the Banner Lords faction and other useful things like energy refills, a skill tome, and an XP boost. Download Raid Shadow Legends using the links below and they'll know who sent you. Let's start with my loadout. I'm using the Spark Silencer and a Spitfire, not because I like the Silencer really, but because I got the Muscadine skin and it just looks nice. But also, the Spark Silencer trips me up because it has a weird muzzle velocity and a bad iron sight. But if you're in a rut, using the same loadout might give you a little consistency to diagnose the problem. And as you'll see, not many of my deaths are loadout related, just bad aim or positioning. So let's start with that, a few examples of just how bad I'm doing. Like this clip, I have the Pinkerton dead to rights, but I let her go to see if she'll kill the solo inside. Let's see how that plays out for me. I'm waiting, and waiting, and now I push. No! Yeah, good play. Thankfully, they left and I revived later, but not really pro gamer moves there. Or this one. I have the advantage. I'm on the top floor, the enemies are below me. I have a shotgun inside. What could go wrong? Pretty clumsy shot. Repeaking an exposed area. Just not great. But, you know, sometimes it's worth a revive, especially if you have a shotgun. But not in this case. Or this one. Not much to see really, but I was camping a body too long and I ran out of time after the bounty extracted. And, well. Fuck. I waited too long. No! I guess you can just see my head's not quite in it. Or even this one. I successfully killed two players on this team. And get into a standoff with one remaining player. He pushes for a revive and I'm not proud of this.
There were so many things I could have done there, but I didn't do any of them. And of course, I won that and you know it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't win that. I really didn't. So let's just talk over some games. These games are where I find my footing a bit. What I see in reviewing all my bad games is that I was either letting mechanical stuff slip too much, like aim or playing too timidly, putting me in bad positions and leaving me to be reactionary instead of proactive. So we open with this seven kill game it's actually a pretty good fight, but you'll notice it's very sloppy on my part, and it's probably just luck that I come out on top. Really unfortunate miss there. Okay, better. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Jesus. It is so hard to watch these, but somehow we end up with three kills in quick succession. It's not that I think I should have 100% accuracy, but I'm missing shots that I feel like normally I would be able to hit. In a second, I'll pick up a gunfight with another team that shows up, but again, it just feels so sloppy. And I think it's important when you are in a rut and you recognize that you're playing poorly, that you don't let yourself get too frustrated with yourself. So I'm gonna keep playing poorly and making some bad decisions, but the whole time I am thinking to myself, don't get too frustrated. What am I doing? So sloppy. So I don't know if you heard it, but there was an empty clack on the enemy's gun. So the only reason I survived is because they ran out of ammo. And I also happened to pick up someone's labelle, just like split second decision. And that gave me some inspiration for some games that we'll see in a second. This kind of second chance mentality. Even though you've been doing bad, you can still come back and do well in small little moments. No way this is gonna work. What? Huh? Yeah. He's... He's finally coming over. I've been listening to this guy disturb birds for I don't know how long. Okay, as long as he doesn't notice, or look at the tower. Oh. 
Oh, does he see me? What? No. No, he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know how that worked out, but it did. That one was just for fun. That was some solo. He never revived. I don't know why. I guess he didn't have Necromancer. So another team shows up to this compound and... I've already had my fun, so I'm feeling the groove of it, and I know consciously that I need to play more aggressive. And I kept in mind that I do enjoy picking up other people's weapons, so if you are in a rut, maybe you could also try your own version of gun game. So a trio walks on the compound, and here's how it goes. Was it the perfect play? No, but it was fun. And if you're having fun, then you are on the way to getting out of your rut. On to the next match, which feels like a combination of these last two. This match is a really good comeback story. I enter this compound and realize a team is fighting the boss, so I creep my way inside when I hear a bow draw. A bow might as well be a shotgun, so I just try to get out of the building. A close escape. I heal up and regroup, trying to get kills from a distance. Finally, a kill on the first shot. And I missed the second. As the fight is going on, it draws in another team, so again, I back up to collect myself. <laughs> Sounds loud enough, here's my moment. I get a kill, but it's a trade par for the chorus playing solo. And before I can stand up, they throw a poison bomb on me. So I set a timer on my watch for the five minutes. At some point they burn me, so I have to stand up to extinguish it and then ride out the rest of the five minutes while they're busy. Well, the fire's out. Finally, the timer goes off. I'm not really sure what has happened in the last five minutes because of the audio, so I just exit the compound. I'm not feeling too confident in my loadout to go push a basement, especially since they have bows and a shotgun, but I do remember seeing something that might do the trick. Good enough for me. Into the basement we go, waiting for our moment. Is he coming? Ah! 
Hello, sir. How'd that hit me? I could not see that man. This is where it gets silly. They know that I'm around, but they assume I managed to get on the safe side of the door. Of course, I didn't. They're not gonna push me. Why'd they go? I guess they went around. Hello? Okay. And that is the match. I'm still working this out. I'm not sure if it's the yips or what, but hopefully I will emerge on the other side of this period as a better player. If you've made it this far, let me know how you solve your issues when you're in a rut. All right, until the next video, goodbye.